This is the Swift MUF50, an affordably priced lightweight fluid head tripod that collapses down to a really compact size. Now, I think it's important to get this out right away. We often recommend that people use bigger tripods that have multiple levels of counterbalance, like this iFootage e-image combo that we've spoken about before on the channel. But if something like this is too big for you when you're traveling, or if you can't just stretch to that price point, then this could be a great option. It packs down really small, but doesn't compromise on professional build quality. So if those things are important to you, then this is well worth considering. But let's take a closer look. It's quoted to support up to five kilograms of weight. And when it comes to its physical design, I was presently surprised by how sturdy and well-made the class and dials feel. Sometimes, Tripods at this price point compromise on build quality, but this feels quite solid and well built, particularly the aluminium legs. They make it quite easy to just quickly adjust the leg angle. Simply pull back any of the red levers at the top and it will snap into place at the next setting, which is really convenient. It weighs just over two kilograms and raises to a maximum height of 149 centimeters and a minimum height of 43 centimeters, which means when this is fully collapsed, it actually fits inside a backpack. And then there's the center column and the fluid head, which is actually the part of the tripod that interests me the most. Now I've been using it outside of work for about the past week or so, and I was genuinely surprised by the amount of smoothness I could get when panning and tilting, especially if you increase the tension dials to near their maximum. I did miss having some way of leveling the tripod head though, like the iFootage Gazelle does. For me, being able to quickly straighten my shot on the fly is important for the type of run and gun filming that I do, so it's a miss here. Instead, you'll need to adjust the heights of the leg, which does take a little bit longer. And you can slide the whole column up and down for height adjustments. But the interesting thing about this is that you can completely unscrew the column and flip it upside down to get some lower angles. If you plan on filming this way, you'll need to rotate your footage 180 degrees when you're editing to have everything the right way. Now, you don't get unlimited clearance when panning because the legs will eventually come into frame, but this is a nice option for some use cases. One thing I wish this tripod had though was a spirit level on the underside of the head for those times when you're trying to straighten your horizon from an inverted position. On the center column, there's a little hook that feels really solid and can be used for adding some extra weight. And then on the bottom of the tripod, there's some retractable rubber feet that can switch between padding or spikes, depending on what kind of terrain you're in. So overall, the Swift MUF50 is an affordably priced fluid head tripod that's lightweight, well-built, and packs down into a really small size. And if that's something you need, then this is well worth looking at. But like always, if you'd like to buy one for yourself, you can head over to proav.co.uk. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.